Wow, it's hard to follow that if you did that. <laughs> thank you so much, Josh. Um, yeah, beautiful work. And thank you to all the poets, and thank you to all, all the audience members who are here and who've come out for this event. Um, and, and I really appreciate you being here because uh, we create memories through presence. And uh, uh, that doesn't happen on the smartphone. You can go eight years on Facebook and it will not count for one night of being uh, with other people. Uh, and so, uh, uh, you know, we can talk about uh, uh, relationship, uh, I think, is, is the ultimate uh, binding uh, uh, force. And, uh, uh, and so I think we're, we're creating relationship and we're creating memory by just being here. Um, so again, everyone has to buy a book. So that's a, that's a, a mandatory event. Um, so please support Shizue's tireless efforts and and uh, RV and B's uh, tireless efforts at East Wind by buying a book. Um, uh, again, my name is Ravi Chandra. I'm also starting up a series of uh, lectures on compassion, self-compassion, Asian American psychology, narcissism, and technology over the course of the next eight weeks. Um, you can go to sflovedojo.org to find out about those. Those will be in Japantown. Um, so the excerpt uh, uh, that's in the book is from my book, Face Buddha, Transcendence in the Age of Social Networks. Um, and it's about, uh, it's a memoir excerpt of uh, my migration story uh, from India when I was uh, just 18 months old to the Deep South and to uh, Michigan. So encountering racism, struggling with identity along the way. But I'm not going to read from that. Um, I'm going to read a poem uh, that's a recent poem. Um, and it's about how ideology can separate us and ideas and religion come between us. And the ultimate primal religion is, of course, love. And we've gotten away from that with houses and possessions and, and, and surrounding ourselves with things as opposed to uh, being related to each other in a communal space. So I think it, you know, this poem is, is about how uh, people get separated. It's not quite autobiographical, but, uh, but you'll, you'll get it. Um, so um, I'll just explain one word. It's called sati. Sati is mindfulness or recollection. And so memory, remembering, remembering who you are, who we are, uh, how we are related to each other uh, is so important. So that's sati. So this is called Christina, separation of church and date, union on holier ground. She wanted me, I wanted her, we were the unwanted. Asian American wantings, wantlings, invisible unseen wanderings, waiting for deliverance, blind to ourselves. She thought she'd been found in Christ, that only Christ could see her, only he could cure her of shame and loss. Her need created convenient blind spots to his empire of damage. She thought she'd Christianize me, civilize me, mother me, give me a lesson plan, make me right with her, Jesus, make me right with her. I was an infant to her, a child she'd raise, redeem me from my mortal sin. I didn't want redeeming, all I wanted was belonging. We found it in each other's touch, belonging made of longing. But she clung to her certainties, I tripped over them in my mind. I ripped them out of my mind. She had mortal fears of desire, of mortality. She'd never met a loving man. Her parents' love came as plans. Their earthly love came as control. She planned to control me, of course, because that was love. And what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? She made me captive to her love. Her wounds gaped and raged, wound spell gospel hazed. Making religion was the same as making love, only making enchanted love would break this enchanted gaslight spell. We laid in beds we'd made, raw, mourning, pained. Christ's chorus raved between us. She blamed me as if desire were stain. But desire is just skin of the fruit, the apple's flesh is knowledge. Nourishing ourselves on lips and breasts is how we learn what love is. Her God finds guilt in our human want, but guilt is a mask we place on hidden, innocent face. 
She worshiped a white man's God. She struggled for perfection, never learned to love herself. I gave her my full attention. When we made love, we made new mind, our earth between Mars and Venus. I'm still making love to our mind in all the space between us. Love is true medicine, cures all our diseases. Remembrance, sati, mindfulness is love. Our hidden Buddha sees us. And I love myself. I love myself as I am. Period. End of sentence. Thank you.